Bank robbery is a capital felony and shouldn't be done under any circumstance. But there have been people who have done this crime to fulfill their needs or just for fun. These peoples and their end are often shown in films. How they rob a bank and what happened to them after that is manifest in many films for the sake of entertainment. But which movies are at the top of this specific category? To make this easy, the film Gossips has ranked top 5 films which are based on bank robberies. So be aware of spoilers and let us start today's video. At number 5, we got The Bank Job. The first entry in today's list is based on a real story or in this case, based on a real bank robbery. Directed by Roger Donaldson, this English heist film was released in 2008. A story follows a group of men who targets a branch of a famous British bank in central London. To steal money and other valuable assets, the group digs a 40 feet long tunnel that leads them straight to a safety deposit. The same incident happened in 1971 and it was the inspiration behind this film. It stars Jason Statham, Saffron Burroughs and Richard Linton in major roles. Made with the budget of $20 million, it grossed over more than $66 million at the box office. The critics praised this film, particularly the direction of Donaldson, accuracy and action sequence of it. The film provides a close look at the historical event and the real reasons why this specific deposit box was a target of robbers. I am returning to Trinidad to liberate my brothers and sisters from the enslavement of the British colonialists. Was a scallywag. And girl. It was always you, Terry. At number four, we got Inside Man. Some bank robberies aren't about cash or money, but more about a message for big sharks. The same scenarios described in this film, released in 2006, this action thrill film revolves around a bank robbery fueled by a secret motive. It is directed by Spike Lee and has some big names like Denzel Washington, Jodie Foster and Clive Owen. The film tells a tale of a gang that takes hostages during a bank robbery. The detectives begin negotiating with robbers but the founder of the bank hires a fixer. The fixer was then sent into the bank to pursue robbers from opening a specific safety deposit. The film was met with critical acclaim especially for its screenplay and direction. The performances of Denzel and Clive Owen also received praise from critics. The film earned more than $184 million against a production budget of $45 million. Its success prompted a video game franchise and in 2019, a sequel titled Inside Man Most Wanted was released on Netflix. What's your bottom line if you fail to reach an agreement? Effective negotiators can control the outline for you to solve. First and foremost, the hostages all safe. Can we talk some? It's not complicated. It's always complicated. I'm yeah. going in. What? My baton is safe hostages at all costs, so I'm going in. Put these on. This is not a part of our arrangement. Maybe she wants us to know something. I think she chose you. At number three, we got Hell or High Water. A film which shows the resolve of two brothers as they started a string of robberies across the state of Texas. Directed by David Mackenzie, it was written by Taylor Shadon. Its premise is based on the journey of two brothers who wanted to save their family ranch from being sold off. As they started to rob banks, they soon find themselves as a the target of two Texas rangers. During a robbery, things went south and both brothers have to come up with something. It features Chris Pine, Ben Foster and Jeff Bridges as the lead characters. Upon its release, the film became an instant critical hit. It was well received by critics who praised its direction, theme and cinematography. The film is noted for its unique approach towards poverty and its consequences. 
Jeff Bridges was nominated for an Oscar for his splendid acting as a Texas Ranger. However, apart from its critical success, the film was a mild success at the box office. It grossed over $37 million against a budget of $12 million. You may be hearing a lot of things about me and your uncle. Whatever I hear, I won't believe. No, you believe it. Those banks loaned the least they could so they could swipe your mama's land. On the ground! Paying them back with their own money. Well, if that ain't Texan, I don't know what is. You hear about these bank robberies? I may have one hunt left in me. <laughs> they know exactly what they're doing. They're trying to raise a certain amount. That's my guess. You want to get us killed? I'm going to the plan. You got to be smart. We're ways from being finished. This one up here. These boys, they aren't done yet. At number two, we got The Town. Ben Affleck is not only a talented actor, but also a talented director. Being the second film in his directional career, The Town is proof of his brilliance. It follows a group of thieves who rob banks for their living. Things started to fall when the leader of the gang fell in love with an assistant manager of the bank they robbed. Based on true events, the film was adopted by a novel by Chuck Hogan. Apart from being the director of the film, Ben Affleck also stars in the lead role alongside Jeremy Renner, Blake Lively, and Rebecca Hall. It met with a positive response from the Critic Association, who praised the direction and performance of Renner. It was a major success at the box office and earned $154 million against a budget of $37 million. safe. They took me as a hostage. I like to have a good cry at the nail salon. <laughs> Why should we buy you a drink? There are over 300 bank robberies in Boston every year. Most of these professionals live in a one square mile neighborhood called Charlestown. I'm putting this whole town in my review. You grew up right here. Same rules that I did. My mother moved away and my father, uh, he don't get out much. If I think anything might happen to her, I'm gonna kill both of you. If we get jammed up, we'll hold them caught on the street. I just want you to know that you're gonna die in federal prison. At number one, we got Heat. One of the most prominent and greatest films of its genre, Heat was released in 1995. Directed by Michael Mann, its story revolves around a carrier robber and a detective. As the story progresses, they have to deal with their personal lives and professional lives. It has an ensemble cast featuring Robert De Niro, Al Pacino, Wal Kilmer, and Ashley Jude in the lead roles. Upon its release, it became a massive critical and commercial hit across the globe. Critics filled columns with its praise, especially its screenplay, direction, and acting of De Niro and Pacino. The accuracy of robberies and the action sequence was well received by everyone. It triggered a social impact and many robberies were reported from different countries which resemble it. Although it did not receive any major award, it is regarded as one of the greatest films ever made on bank robberies and heist-based films. We're a mile and a half from you. Okay. Here we go. For the bank's money, not your money. Your money is insured by the federal government. You're not going to lose a dime. 
If you enjoy this video, then don't forget to subscribe our channel, The Film Gossips. Hit the bell icon and you will be notified with new uploads.